the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. And the way seems hard, it's in the will of God. It may be on the mountain peak, low, or in the valley low, but wherever. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank 
Can everyone please take a seat? service with scripture and prayer by Bernard Washington who will also read the acknowledgments immediately following there be a resolution from New Beginners Church by Sharita Ball and then Dr. Captain Tippett will also bring a resolution. Good afternoon. I will begin today by reading uh, scriptures. Good afternoon. Today we're going to uh, start uh, the service by reading from scriptures from the Old Testament and the New Testament. I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 6 through 8. Now the Lord of armies will prepare a lavish banquet for all peoples on this mountain, a banquet of aged wine, choice pieces with marrow and refined aged wine. And on this mountain, he will destroy the covering which is over all peoples, the veil which is stretched over all nations. He will swallow up death for all time. And the Lord God will wipe tears away from all faces. And he will remove the disgrace of people, his people from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. And from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve, as indeed the rest of mankind do, who have no hope. For if we believe that the Lord Jesus died and rose from the dead, so also God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep through Jesus. For we say this to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who remain, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. And also, from the Gospel according to John, chapter 6, verses 64 through 69. But there are some of you who do not believe. But the Lord Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and, it, and who it was who would betray them. And he was saying, for this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted him from the Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples left and would no longer walk with him. So the Lord Jesus said to the twelve, you do not want to leave also, do you? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have words of eternal life. 
and we have already believed and we have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Uh, may you bow your heads in prayer. Father God, we thank you this day for another day, another opportunity to receive your promise of salvation. We thank you for another day for those who believe to carry your peace and joy in this world, even as we grieve, even as we mourn. And I pray over this service that you guard our hearts and our minds with your peace that passes understanding and that you guard over everyone as they leave from here and as we continue through the service, Father. And I pray over the city. I pray that you bless it with peace. You bless not only with revival in the churches, but revival in individuals to turn their hearts to you in the true knowledge of you, Lord Jesus, for your words saved. And we pray for the family, the family of Christiana, that you continue to hold on to them with your unchanging hand, that you continue to fill them up with your peace and your joy. And we thank you for this opportunity to celebrate the life of Christiana today. But not only the natural life, but the eternal life of Christian. Because Christian, it dwells with you for eternity, along with his brother, Chauncey. And we just thank you for both of them and the lives that they lived here and the love that we, me as a cousin, and all the family and friends and godfathers, and we just thank you for allowing us the opportunity to know them and to love them and for them to know us and love us and the opportunity to receive salvation with you from forever. And that's why we celebrate today. It's in the authority of your name, Lord Jesus, and through your Holy Spirit we pray. Amen. And the family of Christian Jeremiah Robert Tucker extends their deepest, deepest gratitude to everyone for the many acts of kindness and sympathy shown during their time of bereavement. Thank you. family and friends. At this time, if there's any members of New Beginnings Church, would you please stand? Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We humbly come in thanksgiving to celebrate the life of Christian Tucker, who has found rest with Jesus. We find strength in our Heavenly Father to bear his loss, yet we trust him. We, the pastors, elders, and members of New Beginnings Church, extend our heartfelt sympathy and prayers to our faithful and loving members, Shanae Benson, Jatara Thurman, Anton Roos, and Ashley Leonard, who are committed to their spiritual walk with God and dedicates time, service, and resources as active members of New Beginnings Church. Our hearts go out to you as you endure this loss. Yes, we must not grieve without hope, for we wait for that day of great rejoicing when all of God's children will gather together and inherit the joys of heaven. Whereas Christian loved his family and served as a son, brother, nephew, cousin, friend, and confidant with a strong yet humble spirit. Whereas Christian accepted Christ as his personal savior. And we are comforted by the promise of Jesus in John 5, which assures us that he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Whereas the passing of our beloved brother in Christ is the will of God and there is a human tie that has been broken, we are encouraged and consoled in the words of Jesus who said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the family because all of us have a common bond in our Lord and Savior that will connect us for the rest of our lives. We know that God loves you unfailingly. And in times like these, 
Encourage yourself in, in the Lord and rely upon the word of God for strength, comfort, and peace. We cannot replace Christian, but will attempt to honor his memory by demonstrating his love for you through the love of God our Father. Humbly submitted Friday, September 6, 2024, Pastor Corey B. Brooks, Senior Pastor, New Beginnings Church of Chicago. Good morning. Would all the former and current members of the Air Force Academy High School family please stand, students and staff? In resolution, according to his tender mercies, God who is infinite in his wisdom has seen fit to move from our midst our beloved graduate, former cadet, tech sergeant, Christian Jeremiah Robert Tucker. The administration, board of governors, staff, and student body of the Air Force Academy High School feel that it is befitting to express our sympathy to the Tucker, Benson, Thurman, Ross, Brooks, and all who mourn during this time of bereavement. For the Bible declares in Revelation 21 and 4, he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. We commend Christian spirit to him who knows best and will always do right. Our sincere thoughts and prayers are with you for the many nights to come. For the word of God also distinctively declares in Matthew 11, 28 and through 30, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lonely in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Therefore, be a resolve, whereas Cadet Tech Sergeant Christian Tucker is the 15th member of our student body whom we've had to be a farewell in our 15 year history, Chris, was an active graduated member of the Air Force Academy High School class of 2021, who excelled both in the classroom and on the court in basketball. Christian was a member of our journalism team, served as a flight leader for Delta Flight, and received the Rising Star, Star Award during his senior year. While his class spent their senior year remote and did not have the pleasure of attending luncheon, grad night, senior decision day, nor prom, and whereas their graduation ceremony was the only authorized in-person activity, he along with his peers proudly took the stage and received the honors that they had earned. Be it further resolved that as we bow in humble submission to him who never makes a mistake, we remind the family to be encouraged by remembering Cadet Tech Sergeant Tucker for the things he did best. He had a smile that was contagious. He was the best hype man and could get a crowd turned up. He loved music and he performed in all of our heritage celebrations. Per his vision board, he completed his senior year. He wanted to be an entrepreneur and sell real estate. His desires at that time was to have a family of four. There was a wife, one son, one daughter and himself. Therefore, be it resolved that we, the staff and the students of the Air Force Academy High School, will carry the memories of Christian in our heart and our thoughts. We can never replace him and we won't try, but we will attempt to demonstrate the love, compassion, and empathy he had for others. One example of the love and compassion he shared was a letter he wrote as part of an assignment not only did I have the pleasure of being Christian's um, principal, but I was also his teacher for his college business class. And his final that I gave them, there were nine questions and he had to choose seven of the nine questions. One of the questions was, if you could write a message of encouragement to one person in this class, who would it be and what would the message be? His response was, 
If I could write words of encouragement to one person in this class, it would be Julian Cole, and just be, not just because he's a good friend. The message I would want to send him is to keep going and always know when it's raining, the sun is still shining somewhere. By this I mean, if you are ever having a bad day, don't let it bring you all the way down because hard times don't last. I would want to write cold words of encouragement because there was times when I didn't want to keep on and he motivated me. Another message I have to him is to keep doing good and one day you're going to get everything you ask for. And so when I got this assignment, my reply to Christian on June the 3rd, 2021, Chris, this is an amazing message that I really think Cole would appreciate having. I would say to you to type this message and keep it for yourself as well, to remind yourself that you too are a great guy who has a great future ahead of him. And that, and that even when it rains, the sun can still shine. I know the loss of a sibling or loved one can paralyze us at times, but you, Chris, you have to keep pushing. You are still here for a reason, and that reason is to do something great, something positive, to be a great and productive citizen in our global society. Christian Tucker, you are somebody great. Believe that. Therefore, be a resolve that as Cadet Tech Sergeant Christian Jeremiah Robert Tucker rest quietly in the bosom of Abraham, awaiting that great getting up morning. We do not say goodbye, only farewell, and as a common unfortunate practice. Chris, Air Force Cadets, we salute you. Rest on until that great getting up morning. Be a resolve that a copy of this resolution will be given to the family and a copy will remain in the archives of the Air Force Academy High School where we are soaring high and making marks. Humbly submitted by Dr. Captain Yashika Tippett Eggleston, Academy Superintendent and Principal, and Principal this Friday, September the 6th, 2024. At this time, we're going to have remarks. Can we get four or five people to remark for Christian? Immediately after that, there will be a poem by Mayana Brown, and following that, a musical selection by Jamie Lynn Cherry. Can I have those who are going to remark come forward now, please? Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we can do better than that for Chris. Say, praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Drew Jones Marquez, and the former music teacher at Air Force Academy High School. I have the privilege and honor of teaching both Chauncey and Christian. And although I'm excited and joyful to see so many of my former students here, I wish we could be meeting under different circumstances. But today is not about my feelings. Today we are here to encourage this family. Mom, you know our ride or die for you. We are here for you. We love you. And if I could leave you with a couple encouraging words, I would say. The safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. And the way seems hard, it's in the will of God. It may be all the mountain peak, 
can't describe the loss I feel and can't feel real to you. I wish I could see you one more time walking through the door. Is it this one? That's all. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this one? Gone too soon. Birds can't describe the loss I feel saying farewell to you. I wish I could see you one more time walking through the door, but I know that's impossible. I know you can feel my tears and you don't want me to cry, yet my heart is broken. Because I can't understand why someone so precious had to go. It breaks my heart that you were taken so unexpectedly. A thousand words won't bring you back. I know because I tried. Neither will a thousand tears. I know because I cried. From up there, I want to thank you for loving me unconditionally. Our memories will never leave me and live in my heart. There are no goodbyes because wherever you'll be in my heart. I love you then, I love you now, always did and always will. Forever in my mind, forever in my heart, I will miss you always. For always and forever. Until we meet again, I love you. Your loving girlfriend, Alexis. off the little thing but I knew Chris wouldn't have, Chris wouldn't have let me do that. You no. Know, he would have told me, you no, know, tell a funny little story. Tell a funny little story I always would make somebody laugh, you know, make somebody smile. Yeah. I think it was a story I'ma tell. I'ma tell him when he played his little song for me, right? Nah. Me and Chris, we weren't hanging around for like I say like a year or two, for real. We weren't really we weren't hanging around like that. So I get in the car with a man. He like, hey, you trying to hear this song I got on? I'm like, if I know Chris, he can't rap. <laughs> but you know, that's my that's my man, so I'm gonna hype him up. You, he can't dance though. He, he can't dance. So he, um, he put the song on and the beat was so raw. I'm like, Chris, you can't mess this up. But it's, it ain't his song though. So somebody come on first and I'm like, he going crazy, so I don't know Chris gonna kill it. This man Chris got on the, and I thought he was reading off like a book. I'm like, I'm like, bro, you gotta be stopped. But you know, you know me, I'm like, yeah, this, this, that, we gonna make it out the hood with this. But I just know, I know if he was here, he'd be turning up with everybody. You know, he never, he never not smiling. So if there's anything y'all gonna remember him by, y'all gotta remember him by a smile, y'all. For real. If y'all walk away today, remember Chris smile. See, he ain't never gonna let you be down. He ain't never gonna tell you his problems. He gonna come around you and smile. So if God put him on this earth for a reason, it was to smile, y'all. All right? So all y'all better be smiling when y'all walk away from this, all right? I love all y'all, too.
Chris, he was a special soul. That gap, he always was, always was smiling. I used to call him SpongeBob. Cause that gap, <laughs> it was always Amaya, Anthony, Chris, Ashanti, and me. Stay cracking jokes. Oh, and let's not forget a Mario. Even though he was a grade above us, he always found his way to our class. We used to get in trouble with Miss Stapleton. Minus 10. <laughs> Minus 5. But Christian, that was my boy. Life of the party. We always ran for homecoming together. We always stood together. That's my boy. I'm gonna miss you, see money. I love you. Forever. Your rap money. I just wanted to say, this, today gonna be the hardest walk that I've had to do with my brother. We was together every other day. I was mad most of the time when he didn't want to come, or he wasn't moving fast enough. But that was my boy, he always showed up at the end of the day. I just want you to know, boy, you truly miss. I ain't been able to talk much. I ain't even been able to do much. But just know you're gonna live forever, boy. I can't, I can't wait to see you again. But until that day, I'm gonna live on in your memory. Every day gonna be for you. I'm definitely gonna try to make every day better. I'm gonna try to smile more, because I know I can be mean as hell sometimes. But I'm gonna do that for you, boy. So until we meet again, I love you, Chris. First place I met him at Chelsea, about like around 2012, 2013. Right here, set it down. And uh, just being there, having both of them in my life, it, it did a lot for me. I learned from them. They learned from me as they big brother. They made me who I am to this day. So I just want to say I thank you, baby, bro. I thank you for always being you. I thank you for always just. Not letting nobody dim your light, no matter what you're going through. Like, this is the strongest little boy I know in my life. Like, you know, like, I know nobody can. Yeah. And I just want mama to say to know you did a great job. I told you, you raised five kids. You, you got Tara, Anton, Chauncey, Chris, and me. You did a great job raising them five kids. And I just want to say, I, I love you, baby, bro. I'm going miss you. And I know you got peace with Big Bro, so I gotta be, I gotta be happy. And we all gotta smile because of that, so he, he had his brother side where he'd rather be, so. You know, I guess that's it. I love you, bro. My name's Ashley. I was one of Christian's older cousins, and, but he really wasn't like a cousin to me. He was really like a little brother. Um, one thing that's always going to stick with me about Christian is that no matter his situation, every time I saw Christian, even though we're all his cousins, we would come around and have fun and do funny stuff. Somehow me and Christian would always end up like in a very serious conversation about where he wanted to go next. I can remember when Christian was in the seventh to eighth grade, he would be just talking to me about what he wanted to do in high school and what classes he wanted to take. And then when he was in high school, he would sit and talk to me about what college he wanted to go to and what he wanted to study. And then when he was in college, he was always talking about that next step. So I guess my one 
thing I would leave with everybody here is just like, don't let your current circumstance be your future circumstance, because that's not how Christian was. He was always looking forward from a really, really young age. Even when he was 14 and 15, we would just sit down and have conversations, and I would just look at him like, wow, this is a conversation <laughs> way beyond your years. So I really miss him, but I would just encourage everyone in this room, always look ahead and always think forward, because that's what Christian was all about. Christian, older cousin, but he's really not my cousin. He's actually my little brother. Like we spent lots of nights, lots of days together. They come over. Like, he literally grew up with us. They come over to my house. Him and Josh spend the night all the time. We play. I was waiting yesterday. I was waiting for him to text me. Because football started yesterday, and I was waiting for him to ask me what we bet on, and he didn't text me, so I didn't bet yesterday. But it's gonna be hard, and um, I just admire his life. Like he did everything special, everything he did, he was just great at school, basketball. You know, he went to college. He beat the odds that a lot of kids from his neighborhood didn't do. And it's, I'm just gonna miss him, and I love him, and he know that. Thank you. Is Mayanna Brown in the house? Mayanna? And immediately following, there'll be a solo selection from Jamie Lynn and Sherry. truly one of a kind and God's favorite. I will miss you wholeheartedly. It's a loss that is hard to bear. You were so precious to me and ever so dear. I'll miss you forever more than words can say. I'll treasure all of our memories of each other every day. Until we meet again, I just want to say I love you. I love you again. Come see about me, see money. from his doctor. This memory I have, but it's one of the many things that I admire so much about Christian. When he was younger in high school, he served as a mentor for younger peers. And I remember thinking how lucky they were to have a strong guy like Christian in their lives. His heart so big, his mind so strong, his ability to really see himself and others in this world. He lives in the hearts of those he affected, he changed their lives. Dr. Gina Lowell. Yeah. 
I've had so, so many, many weary days And some lonely nights But when I, when I look around All of my good days Say out when my bad days So I won't complain Sometimes my, my clouds are low I can hardly see
all of his classmates, all of his friends. Thank you so very much um, to New Beginnings Church staff, and ushers, and trees to leave our bereavement, and the media ministry, and all of those who um, are here for support. <clears throat> Thank you uh, so very much. Uh, it is so greatly appreciated. I, I want to just deal with for a few minutes um, a word that I pray. Um, that will help not just um, the family today, um, but I believe all of us at one time or another have uh, been in this situation where we've lost someone who is close to us uh, and they've gone on and yet we're still here. And so oftentimes we're wondering how do we keep going in the midst of so much pain, in the midst of so much hurt. And so after I pray, I, I wanna lift up a thought just for a few minutes uh, that I believe will help a lot of us uh, who are here today. Will you pray with me? Lord, we thank you today for your grace and for your mercy. We love you, we exalt you, we magnify your name. Now God, I pray in the name of Jesus, speak a word to our hearts. So that when we leave this place, Lord, all of us will leave better than when we came in the door. Attention. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? I'm going to ask that everyone seated, please remain seated in your seats. Allow a director or an usher come to you and give you directions in regards to our view. Let's do this in decent and in order. You can't have everybody congregated in the front or in the back. Please, as we finish as well, once you view, please leave the sanctuary as well as the <clears throat> the, fourth, uh, the front and don't congregate in front of there because we do need to go to the cemetery. There is guards that have stickers outside, but right now, I'm everybody that's seated, right now, stay seated and allow the record to come to you and give you directions. Thank you. We know that you all want to stop and talk with the family, but for time, we need everybody to, to move uh, expeditiously, continuously, and you can talk to the family at the repast, please. Okay.
after the mural, we need all the pallbearers to meet us on the ramp in the back. All the pallbearers. Except for the immediate family to exit the sanctuary, please. At the request of the family. Everyone, if you already have a final viewing or if you're not in the immediate family, we need you to exit the sanctuary and we need you to go to your car immediately. Please, thank you. Ma'am. Thank you so much.
I didn't hear it.
Fred. Fred. Excuse me, lady. 